Good afternoon, Hempstead. It is a great day in the village of Hempstead. We are here today uh, for this street renaming uh, honor memorial on today. Uh, when the family and friends contacted me, I said I'm for it 100% and our trustee board. Uh, growing up on Martin Luther King Drive, Wilklow, when I grew up there, Wilco. Yes, on Wilklow, right. I knew right here down on South Franklin, the studio where many people used to record uh, albums. Uh, Drew is here uh, from Public Enemy. We did, and I had a, a Long Island Workshop Choir. We did gospel recordings at that same studio. Yeah. And so I know how important it is for us to remember the service and commitment that people have given to our community. And so we've come to celebrate our brother's memory. Can we give a big hand of applause for this day? I'm going to ask that uh, Reverend Crawley will just open us up with prayer, and then we will continue on from there. We thank you, Father, for this marvelous, momentous occasion. Thank you for allowing us to witness such a, a great event. We, we pray, Heavenly Father, that you will remember the Durant family, the Father and all of them, the relatives, those who have not only lived but who have given their lives. Thank you, Father, for this the memory of this young man who made an impact upon society. Grant, grant us, Lord, good health. Give us the wisdom that we need in order to navigate in this land. We pray, Heavenly Father, as we speak, as we as we stand. He, this this young man whom you chose to call join the ancestors and we feel their spirit on this day bless us and, and keep us in in your hand in jesus name we pray amen amen, amen. amen. thank you reverend Quarley. i'm gonna have our other elected officials have words i'm just saying that as we uh get ready to reveal this after the speeches I hope this, this serves not only as a memorial, but as inspiration to our young people here in Hempstead now, to let them realize that Hempstead has a history of being family, no matter if you were from the Heights or the Hill, it was one Hempstead. Back in the days when you did something on one end of the block, before you got home, your parents knew what you was doing because the whole community raised our young people. Let's get back to greatness, Hempstead. Let's get back to showing the world what Hempstead is really about. Thank you. At this time, we're going to ask that our trustee uh, Griffith, trustee um, uh, um, Boone, and then trustee Williams will come. Following them, I'll uh, introduce our other elected officials. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Gone but not forgotten, right? Let's say it together. Gone but not forgotten. There is great things in Hempstead, and this was one of the greatest. Okay? So I want to keep it short. However, my condolence to the family, but guess what? He is not forgotten. Okay? His name is up high. Thank you. This is kind of hard for me, so pardon me. But um, just want to um, say that Melo is definitely smiling down on this day right here. I know he's happy to see his whole 510 family, yep. the Durant family and everybody, his friends and family here. You know what I'm saying? Um, just a touch a moment, this is Mr. Durant. And I know that Danielle and Durant are very happy with this moment. You know, I'm, I'm definitely one that's all about people getting their flowers when they're here. You know what I'm saying? So, um, Shamella was my brother to the core. We've been through a lot from Marshall School to, um, to doing stuff in music at 510. He brought me into 510. It brought me in there. At, then later on, started working with Chuck, PE, e., and everybody else. So I owe a lot to Shamelo. I thank you, brother. You definitely will be missing. Will never be forgotten. Thank you. Just before our trustee uh, Williams come, and then we're going to ask after trustee Williams, uh, senior councilwoman Dorothy Dorothy Goosley will have words. 
than former Mayor Ryan. But now the family asks us to please keep it short as possible because they have a reception, a gathering after, and they're paying for it as we speak. So. <laughs> Well, my, my speech just got cut in half. <laughs> but at any rate, I will say very briefly and very rapidly that there's a lot of um, attention being paid to the STEM fields, um, science, technology, and, uh, and, and engineering and math. And, and we, we often neglect the humanities, but it is so important to acknowledge, especially in our communities of color, the value of uh, performing art, the value of visual art, the value of um, lyrics and words. As a teacher of English, I hold a high value on words and how powerful words are. Um, our Lord said in the, in, in the first verse of the first chapter of Genesis that in the beginning there was the word. Mm -hmm. And so with that, I will simply say that we must continue to honor this amazing individual's life with all of our lives. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'm standing here, and so many of you came up to me and said, hello, think I remember you. I know you all went to school down here near me, and you came to the house with my girls and so forth and all. They are here, but it's just wonderful to see you here and know that so many of you are doing so well. This young man goes to the father's house, and I see all the gold records on the wall. So I don't know what he did with those gold records, but I want to see one of them. But we also have another young man here from Hempstead who is a profound, he's a wonderful artist. He's here now, he graduated from Hempstead High School. So we have many, I know, that have done so well coming from this area. And you are showing it, I'm happy about it, and people need to know about it. So this man here and I have worked together for years. He has been a wonderful person. He had a, it really worked very well. And we work together as one, trying to keep this community together and keeping our kids together. So that's why they have done so well. So I thank all of you for coming. Thank you for remembering him. And it's a wonderful, wonderful, there's one of my students over there. But it's so wonderful to have all of you here and remembering why you're here. So make sure that you continue to remember him and continue to work as hard as we work to get you where you are. You must do that, okay? We can do it. Don't let anybody tell you that we can't. You young people can do it. So God bless all of you, and thank you so much for honoring him, and have a good time when you go to your affair, but just make sure you do the right thing, okay? All right, thanks. Good afternoon, Hempstead. Thank you, Mayor, and the entire Village family, and all here and gathered for being here today for this dedication. It's important we recognize the people that make Hempstead strong, and certainly this is a good example of just that. And he's going to live forever. He's going to live forever because we will never know when his influence will end. Now, he's in God's Hall of Fame, but I want the mayor and the senior councilwoman and everybody to know that this month, five Hempstead High School graduates have been elected into the Hall of Fame. All right. wow. We have Rick Furline of Fayetteville State. William Carmona at SUNY Stony Brook, James Ford at Rutgers, Lamont Yu and Jennifer Mitchell with the Nassau County Sports Hall of Fame. That's wow. quite an accomplishment. Yeah. So I thank you all for being here. God bless the family, and certainly God bless our hero. Thank you. Thank you. All right. All right, we're going to ask that his father would come and have words while he's here. Let's give him a hand as he comes. Thank you, Lord, for this day. Thank you for each and every one of you, 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 and especially you. It was more than 45 years ago when the Durant family decided to relocate to Hempstead. We looked at many locations and fell in love with this street right here and that house right there. My two kids, Daryl, Shamelo, and Danielle, met lots of friends who were like family, and they all grew up together, all went to school together, and looked out for one another. This community was unique and personal. Residents looked out for each other. Daryl was born in a hospital in Brooklyn and raised in Queens by myself and his loving mother, Barbara D. Daryl and his sister Danielle 
were welcome gifts to his parents, and it was clear that God had blessed them when an energized and gifted child who would make his mark on the world. He's buried a, merry, a, a mere 100 yards from his mother and his grandmother right here in Hempstead. And the gift of this day and it is also his grandmother's, Dorothy's, birthday today. Well remembered. The Micah Tears is a young teenage group, trio, made up of Wayne and Aaron and Shamello. And they covered the area, including Percy Jackson, with rhymes, poetry, and music. And sounds at a higher level at 510 South Franklin Street, working in conjunction with Public Enemy. Shamello had many gold and platinum albums hanging on his walls, and this proved his stand as definitive, positive, and impactful. Having worked with artists Destiny's Child, Missy Elliott, Dr. Dre, Pete Rock, Spy Spider Man, and Freeze, Petey Pablo, Mob Deep, and the Producers Coalition of America. He helped produce reality TV shows and Real Housewives of Potomac, Love and Hip Hop, and Comic Book Men. And his final ac accomplishment was writing his book of his life story, From Ghetto to Greater, a life story depicting his walk written in cutting edge poetry with hip hop and backdrops. And I thank you, you, and especially you for this moment in time that will never, ever be forgotten. Thank you. At this time, we're going to ask the family to gather as we reveal the uh, street sign. Uh, I want to take this opportunity to thank uh, the village workers, Department of Public Works, our sign shop, for putting this together. Can we give our workers a hand yeah. for putting this together? Give another round of applause and thank you for coming out. Excuse me, excuse me. Let me get everybody attention real quick. I just want everybody to take a quick look around and, and see all these people out here that knew, know, and had a, a close friendship with Shamello. My name is Blitz, from a group called Charm out of New School Society, the leaders of the New School. What's up, Drew? So here's the funny thing. I got a story I want to tell you, real quick, real quick. So every morning, I get up and I go walking. And the route that I take is this route. And I go to uh, Lawrence Road track. And I do four miles there and walk back home, which is about another mile, so that's five miles, right? So, one day I was walking by and I saw a look to my left and I said, yo, that's Shamelo's house. I said, yo, I said, universe, I want to make something come to fruition. I'm going to trust in you that you provide what I asked for. And I said, when I come down this block, I want to look up and see Shamelo's name on the sign. I walk this block every morning, every morning. Every morning when I get out the bed, I walk this block. So I'm saying that to say 
I created the petition. And I wanted to see his name on his block. So now every day I walk this path, have a good one. Be well. Thank you, Blake.